Hey guys, what's up? It's Bob Omatron, back at another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the newest version of the City Magazine, at least one version of the newest City Magazine. Um, it comes with this little space rover thing with the spaceman, along with this police individual, along with the female robber, and the little bank machine, which they do have their little paper bags in the back here. Which, if you like this video, hit like button, share, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh... Let me know in the comments if you want to see more of these videos, because I do plan to do more when I get more stuff. But for now, this is what I'm taking a look at. Which, if we set these off to the sides in their own respective manner, and actually bring in the magazine here itself. This is what it looks like on the front. It is issue 77, which you see the uh, space set thing there. It'll, it says on the top, call Cosmic Lego Toy Astronaut plus Quad plus Extra Set, which is the Cop and Rubber one. Which, the only things really in this are uh, somewhere. There are the instruction manual, or there is the instruction manual for the miniature uh, set here, which you can see there. Right along with the minifigure on the side. And on the back we have the uh, 78 issue 78 which is this guy with a little jet ski which is going to come at some point he looks to be a police officer which is fine and we also have more lego fun i don't want to knock my camera over or my light over even which you can see this is another police one and some sort of like indiana jones style jungle mission one which says epic new mag every month which I'm not sure if these two are actually available as of recording this. Which if they are, I wouldn't mind getting this one. So, yeah. Without further ado though, let me just close this off properly. And set it off to the side. And start the review portion of this properly off. With the um, little bag for the Spaceman. As you can see, it says Lego City there. It's got the Space logo on the side. And it's got the actual, like, product picture there 29 pieces for six up which you see the whole bag of it here there's all the weird like jargon and stuff and then the one-to-one -one scale for that piece which is pretty cool it is like the little paper bags that they've been doing recently so it's not too bad i kind of actually prefer these they're a bit harder to open but there's they're actually not that bad then here we have the lego city police department one which is only 17 pieces six and plus or six and up with the police officer Along with the robber and the uh, little cash machine thing there as well, which looks very interesting. Then we have the one to one scale for the money, which, if you don't know what I mean for any reason, I should actually show this while I can. If you're struggling to know the scale for everything, you can set this on top and it is roughly the same size, if not exactly, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, that is it for little packets. Uh, let's bring in the rover itself and take a look at that first. Which, first first, let's take a look at the minifigure. Which, I have to say, the minifigure looks really, really cool. I do love the look of it. The look of him, I should say. Which you can see, it is that sort of new space design they've gone for. With like the different look. To zoom in here, you can see you could just a sort of generic Lego face. It doesn't look too bad. Got like the facial hair and whatnot going on. I got a raised eyebrow. Um, the helmet itself is done in blue and white with the clear visor, which looks really nice. You can't open the visor or anything just with the way it's molded, but either way, it doesn't really matter. For the torso, you can see it's got a little space logo there. Got a bit of gold, got a bit of white and like a navy black color. A little bit more gold on the leg and the hips. Got that same shade of orange as the symbol on his leg there. And then he's got like little moon boots, which look really nice. Uh, the arms are done the same colour as the helmet. And then the back design just is like a little jetpack thing. More like air thrusters to get him manoeuvred around the area. Which, whilst I have him here, I want to do a little size comparison with him. We have the, the Series 26 uh, Space Woman from like just basic earth stuff from a version of city and we also have this guy from the uh moon mechanic like mech set that i reviewed not too long ago which the cool thing about this one is we pop his armor off 
and put it back on, you can see the torso and whatnot is actually the exact same to this one, only with a different helmet and a different color of arms, which the back design is the exact same as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, kind of cool that they could be on the same team in some form, like the same like mission or whatever. And this one, the only reason I'm showing it is because if we set this one off to the side, they have the exact same helmet. It's just, I'll say, instead of black and white, or white and black, it's blue and white with the gold visor instead of the um, clear one. So, yeah. They do share the, you know, the space symbol. So just in different colorations and whatnot. So, yeah, it is pretty cool. So setting her off to the side also, we have the rover, which is very simple design. I will, you know, I do have to say. It's not bad looking by any means, it's, it's a poly bag, what do you expect? There's not even a poly bag, it's a magazine build, which what do you expect, you know? There's not terribly many pieces, you got the wheels, which are just black with like the yellow Technic pins, which they do freely roll. Got like the little seated bit there, but then the actual four studs to sit the person on. Got the steering wheel, got this little area at the back, which holds one of these little battery cylinder things, battery cells, because where you might have seen these before are on this set, being the mech, they're on like the back piece here, you get two of them, and then in that same set you get this little robot guy which also has one on his back, which honestly looks really really cool, so yeah, it's nice you get another one of these because this like cosmic purpley blue colour for the actual cylinder is really cool. But yeah, on and on the front, you can see it's got like the old dish thing for like metal detecting or whatever, and this little like torch gun thing. I'm not quite sure what it's for, but it's pretty cool either way. Which, if we put his arms up and set him, set him down, we can plop him on like so, lean back a little bit, and now he can drive about. Do 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 do. Off to the camp, off the side, onto the moon, and whatnot. Which. The other part we have for this video is the bank machine along with the police officer and the female robber. As you can see how they look all together. We'll start by taking a look at the cash machine because it's the most kind of shit part of it. You can see it's got the little like cash machine thing here with like the card insert. That like contactless thing I assume. It says 999 on it along with the... You know, the keypad and the numbers and stuff just on that slope. That is a printed piece with the green Lego brick on top. Then we got the old gonk body piece from Star Wars. Not specifically what it was for, but it was one use of it. Along with two $100 bills, which as I showed before for the one-to-one -one scale. You can see it's just the standard $100 bill that Lego always has in green. Whether or not they ever actually made different colours, I'm not quite sure. You see how that looks anyway, just a few pieces, nothing special. Then we have the police officer, which they look pretty cool. Got the black hair piece, which is nicely done. Got sunglasses, got the kind of bushier eyebrows, which you see how they look without the sunglasses, which that looks fine, I suppose. Kind of prefer the sunglasses. The uh, tunic uh, shirt is kind of nicely done. It's navy with like the harness. And the little police badge there, which if you turn around it says police on the back with the rest of the vest. And then also the belt goes round as well. Just got regular black legs, no planting or anything. And they come with the uh, handcuffs for the other minifigure, which is the robber. Which it's not very often, at least in my uh, weighing through Lego over the years, that you see a female robber. Not that it matters to me at all. Just... The head and the hairpiece actually looks really nice together for this minifigure. Um, you see, just the stand standard expression, no extra face, and the outfit is a standard robber, they're like inmate uniform, done in the black or white and grey, grey legs, and it says 50382 on the torso, which is very cool. Uh, it just comes with a standard crowbar piece as well, which if you really want to, you can like try and use it to crack the safe open and you know steal the money in whatever capacity you know try and try and do a get her to hold it here 
in some form feeling horribly as always but you can kind of like have her have, get it and then run off with it or something when the policeman could be chasing after her like, yeah get back here and then obviously with the uh with the handcuffs you can have her with them on and make the policeman haven't caught her in whatever capacity which they just slide over the arms like so and she's like you know she could have had a second face kind of being a bit more annoyed or something which by this stage the policeman could have the have a crowbar kind of reprimanding her and uh taking it away from her and also having the money if it wants to sit in his hand. There you go. Have him with the money. Him like, Rrr. get to the police car. Well, not. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, bring, bring this little guy back in. Uh, bring the cash machine in, I suppose, too. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Um, if you like it, hit like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. This is a very interesting set. Firstly, I mainly picked it up for the little space doodad, but the other one is pretty good as well. I would just nearly custom build a, a better crash machine if I had the parts for it, so yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon with something else. Goodbye.